happy to be with you. Don't forget to let me know where you are tuning in from, family. Let me know where my family is from. Come on in, family. Come on in. Come on in, everybody. This is Nikki going live from the city. Beautiful. Come on in, family of God. Come on in. Come on in, family. <clears throat> I'll give you a few more minutes. Let me know if you're there. Let me know where you're from. Let me know where you're from. All right. Welcome in, everybody. Welcome in, family. Okay. All right, family. Hey, everybody. Hi, everybody. Welcome in. God's angel. Hi. What's going on, God's angel? Is everybody here? Let me know where you're from. Erica Campbell, you finally made it live from Kentucky. Hi, everybody. This is Nikki from the City Beautiful. How is everybody? First of all, I want you to know how much I love you. And I thank God for giving me permission to come on live just to tell you hi and just to let you know that I love y'all so, so very much. I've been praying for you. I've been laboring for the Lord for your family of God. Welcome in Tennessee. Welcome in Oregon. Welcome in Detroit. Hi there. Greater perspective. Hi. Hi, New York. The sin of grace. We love you too here. Hi from Michigan. Atlanta. Hi, everybody. New Mexico. Wow. Welcome in, New Mexico. Why don't you share this message with somebody, family? How is everybody doing? Great. Fantastic. St. Louis. What's going on, St. Louis? Thank all of you for your birthday wishes on yesterday. We had an amazing time yesterday. Had an opportunity to be with my family and my love. We went to the Orlando Magic Charlotte Hornets game. Hi, Trinidad and Tobago. Hi, welcome, Caribbean. My God, God is good, right? Praise the Lord. I want you to hear this today, family. You know, God has a sense of humor. And I want you to know that sometimes when people seek revenge for you, it, it doesn't give them the outcome that they want. And they didn't get the response that they wanted. Seeking revenge against you did not make some people feel the way they wanted to feel. It did not. Seeking revenge for you. Yes, come on. Let's get the likes up, family of God. We have 112 people in here. We have 39 likes. I want you to hit that like button. I want you to send this video all over the world because somebody needs a word of encouragement for today, family of God. Somebody needs a reason of hope. And we are here to give you that reason of hope. Seeking revenge for you did not give somebody the feeling that they thought they were gonna feel. Somebody thought they would feel good by getting revenge against your family of God. They thought they would feel good. But what people are getting today, seeking revenge for you, these people are receiving a sunken ship and you're gonna receive an anchor in your own life. These people have anchored your life and these people are seeking their own life by seeking revenge for you because you are in a different zone in your life at this point. You are in a different caliber of life right now. You are not in the same place you used to be. You're not in the same position that you used to be. Even if your natural surroundings right now, family, does not line up with what you think it should be. I want you to know what you are getting ready to experience. You are getting ready to experience a part of your life that you thought was not impossible. You thought was impossible. You thought it was nearly impossible to get what you're getting ready to receive. But God said you are right on time and you are right on schedule. You are. This is why you're going to be exceedingly blessed because whenever you had an opportunity to take vengeance in your own hands, you didn't do it. By you holding your peace and you letting God fight your battles for you, when you kept your mouth shut and you know you had every opportunity, family of God, to let your lips run freely, when you disciplined yourself and kept your mouth shut, God worked a different miracle for you. Miracles are going to come to you, family of God, because you kept your mouth closed. You did exactly what God told you to do. See, you're in a test. 
And you made a conscious decision to keep your mouth closed. And God made a conscious decision to open up his hands for you. God said, I open up my hands for you, family of God. God said, I'm going to give you a double portion. Why don't you receive that? God is going to give me a double portion. A double portion of what? God is going to give you a double portion of health. God is going to give you a double portion of emotional stability. God is going to give you a double portion of the anointing that is already upon your life. You have things to do, family of God, and you have people to see. You got places to go. The best decision you could have ever made is keep your mouth closed. God said, when you kept your mouth shut, he said, it opened my hands. God's hands are not closed where you are concerned. The hand of God is open for you, family of God. And God is going to open the windows of heaven for you. And God is going to pour you out a blessing that you don't have room enough to receive. This is why you are getting so much backlash. And this is why you are getting so much warfare. You're getting a lot of backlash. You're getting a lot of, a, a, a lot of hell in your house. Because God is testing you before he gives you this blessing. God is going to test you real good before he gives you this blessing, family of God. Because it's not going to be a mediocre blessing. Why don't you affirm that God is going to give me a double portion? God is not going to allow you to stay in a mediocre environment, family of God. You are not going to stay in Lodabar. You are not. You feel like you're in Lodabar, but you are in one of the greatest positions that you could ever be. Because your sink is sailing. Your ship is sailing. And your enemy's ships have already sunk. Your ship is sailing. And your enemy's ships are not sailing. These people are sinking. These people are sinking in quicksand, family of God. They cannot come up for fresh air because God has put these people in a position where they will never be able to touch you another day in your life. You are getting ready to experience a new beginning in your life, family of God. You are because you've gone through so much. You've gone through so many, so many tests. You've gone through so many trials. And for your former shame, God said, I'm going to give you double. For your former shame, God said, I'm going to give you double. This is the year where God is going to open up the windows of heaven for you. And God is going to give you, God is going to give you double. Why don't you type that? God is going to give me a double portion. God is going to give me double for my former shame. Whoever made you shame, God said, I'm going to give you double for that. Whoever made you feel bad, God said, I'm going to give you double for that. Whoever put you in a position where they knew you shouldn't have been in that position in the first place because they were envious of you, because they are jealous of you. God said, because you kept your mouth shut. God said, for the form of shame that you've endured, God said, you are going to gain double. You're going to get double for your trouble. And God is going to give you so much, family, that you're going to be in a position to be a blessing to people that you've been wanting to be a blessing with for a very, very long time. You pray for that. God heard your cry. He heard your prayer. God heard your supplication. I want you to know that. That God heard you. Not just with an ear to hear. His spirit, family of God. The heart of God. The bosom of God. He heard you. God is not going to leave you orphaned. God is not going to leave you in a place. Where you have no way out. The enemy wants you to believe that you don't have a way out of this. The enemy wants you to believe that there is no coming back from this. Not only are you going to come out of this, you're going to come out of this on top. You are coming out with the enemy's spoils. You're not going to come out of this trial empty-handed. Not one thing that you go through with is going to let you come out empty-handed. I don't care what it is. That's right. The Lord is my shepherd and I shall not want. Griffin, sunset, glory be to God. The enemy is a liar and the truth is not in him. God is your way out. God is your way maker. God is your way maker and God is not going to let everybody help you, family of God. Because God is not going to allow anybody to take the credit for your life. God is not going to allow anybody to take the credit for where you're getting ready to go. God is not going to allow anybody to take the credit for, for the blessing that he's getting ready to bestow upon your life. He's not going to do it. So it doesn't matter who told you that they were going to help you. It doesn't matter what promise that people gave you. It does not. 
God didn't allow some people to help you, family. God didn't allow some people to fulfill the support that they promised you because God knew these people would come back to you at some point in their life and throw up in your face that if it had not been for them, you wouldn't be where you were, where you are. And God said, hold up a minute. Let me block this person from giving you a hand. Let me block this person from helping you. God said, I will never share my glory with anybody. God was not going to share his glory with one person that was connected to your life, not one person. The revenge that people were seeking against you, it didn't make them feel good. They thought it would make, you, make them feel good, but it didn't make them feel good, family of God. It grieved these people. These people are grieved in their spirit by the unnecessary hurt that they caused you. People are grieved in their own spirit by the trauma and the unnecessary pain that they have caused you. And now their ships are sinking and you are on your ship sailing. And it doesn't matter if you're crossing troubled waters. God is going to be that bridge toward that troubled water. If you are on troubled water right now, God is that place. Well, you're going to do smooth sailing. You're going to sail so smooth. And I want you to know you're not going to look like not one thing that you come out of. You're not going to even smell like smoke. You're not going to smell like the fire that you come out of. You're not. Because God is going to destroy your enemies. I want to give you some assurance today that whatever you thought was blocking you, God is getting out of the way. Doesn't matter what it is. God is dealing with it and getting it out of your way so you can have a clean path, so you can have a clear path. Some of you may feel like you've been blocked, but God said I had to clear some things out so you could be on a smooth path, so you can be on a clear path. God said he's going to go before you, family, and make every crooked place straight. You know those crooked places in your life that you thought you weren't going to be able to get back together? God said, I'm going to go before you and make every cricket play straight. Every single one of them. You have been elevated. You have been promoted. You have. God has given you double for your trouble, for your form of shame, all the embarrassment. God has given you double for your trouble. Your faith in God is going to take you all over the world. The faith that you have. And God is going to take you somewhere good. Your faith that you have is going to take you somewhere real, real good. It is. God's going to blow your mind in this season of your life. You are entering into a new season. And just remember this, how you exit one season of your life is how you're going to enter the next season of your life. So be careful whenever you're coming out of a season. Be careful how you come out of that season. Because you don't want to bring no residue from your past to your future, family of God. Not one. Do not. You are on a ladder. You're on an escalator. You are going to different heights. You're going to different levels. This is why things have been so hard for you. This is why you've gone through so much. And you've gone through so much for so long. Kay, thank you so much. Thank you for your $10 donation. Glory be to God. To those of you that God has led to plant seeds in our ministry, even during our lives, we thank God for you. And I want you to know that when God tells you to do something, no matter where he tells you to plant the seed of whatever kind, I want you to be quick about doing it. Because when God tells you to do something, I want you to do it quickly because in the eyes of God, delayed obedience is disobedience. And God is never going to ask you to do anything without him having in mind for something to do good for you, family of God. This is your comeback season. You ready for your comeback? You ready for God to put you on display? When I say put you on display, family of God, that means you're going to embrace the world in a whole different light. You're going to be unrecognizable, family. You're not going to walk the same. You're not going to talk the same. You're not going to think the same, family of God. Do you hear me, family of God? You are not. That's right. Get our likes up on our channel, family of God, because we want the algorithm of our channel to just boom and to skyrocket for the glory of God. Like some of you, Carrie Williams, thank you so, so much for your $10 donation. God bless all of you. You're getting ready to skyrocket, family of God. You, you're having 
having a lot of dreams. You know, God is dealing with me with with, with some of you all having having dreams. Didn't didn't tell me anything specific uh, about your dreams, but that you're you're dreaming a lot. Some of you haven't dreamed in a long time. Some of you have been so burned down in your spirit that you haven't even been in a position where you can be, where you can have a peaceful mind to even hear God clearly. So get yourself in a position where you can hear God clearly because God is going to do something for you through your vision and through your dream. God told me to tell you all the last time online, if you don't have a journal, get that journal and get a pen or paper and put it beside your bed because God is going to wake you up in the wee hours of the morning. He's going to wake you up to pray. God is going to wake you up to spend time with him. Some of you have been awoken right now, family of God. I mean, on clockwork. God is waking you up like clockwork and you're trying to figure out some of you, you, you have to work the next day and you're asking God, hi, Cleveland, Lady Te Tiffany, God bless you from Cleveland. Some of you are asking God, why are you waking me up hour after hour? It's like whenever you're lying down, you get up in the next 30 minutes, the next hour to two hours, because God is speaking to your spirit. God is speaking to that gift that has been dormant on the inside of you. God is speaking to your purpose, family of God, and God is teaching you how to obey. Whenever you hear God's voice, I want you to know also that God is teaching you how to hear. We have a physical ear, but we are spiritual people. We are spiritual people, and we have to be able to have this ear tune in and to the spirit of the Lord. I pray today that your ears will be fine-tuned to the spirit of the Lord. I pray that your physical eye will not be a physical eye to you anymore. I thank God that you will see clearly out of your physical eyes in the realm of the spirit. You are spiritual people. You are kingdom-minded people. You are kingdom-led people. And God is getting ready to skyrocket you, family of God. You are getting ready to take off. You've been dreaming about certain things. You, you've been having an auction in your belly. You've been having an auction in your spirit. And God bless you, Brunswick. Hallelujah. Something good is going to come to you. Oh, glory to God from New Jersey. Oh, yes. God says, yes. Whatever that is, God says, yes. I don't know what that is, but you know, God says, yes, family of God. That's right. Put those rockets up. Get our lights up because God is getting ready to skyrocket your life. Thank you, Jehovah. Hi, Chris Ramos. Blessings from New York City. Daniela M. T78, I think that is. God bless you. Divine departure. God is getting ready to skyrocket you all. I'm telling you, because your enemies, family of God, sought revenge for you. They sought revenge for you. And they thought it would make them feel good. But they didn't get that emotional feeling that they thought they were going to get. Because God allowed these people's spirit to be perplexed. God allowed your enemies to be so grieved, family of God. These people are grieved in their spirit. These people are perplexed in their spirit. These people are confused in their spirit, family of God. These people know that they touched the person of God that they shouldn't have touched. They are learning this firsthand that they should have never in a lifetime touched a child of God. Now they will sink. Their ships will sink. Everything about their life is going to sink. You hear me, family of God? They're going to sink and they're going to sink real quick and your life is going to soar. This is why whenever the enemy tempts you to open up your mouth and to stand before people and, and, and try to intimidate people, don't do that. Hold your peace. God said, hold your peace. He said, I'm going to fight for you. God wants to fight for you. So let God fight for you. You don't have to fight. You don't have to justify why you do what you do. You don't have to justify your calling. Some people are feeling a little fickle about the calling of God upon your life. They don't thank God, call you. Glory be to God. That is a personal problem. And you do not have to, to stand before anybody to convince anybody that God called you. You do not. God is going to do the convincing family of God because the life that he's going to allow you to live is going to speak for you. They didn't believe in you. They said they believed in you, but people never believed in your family of God. A lot of them did not. Not mean some of them didn't, but a lot of people did not believe in your family of God. A lot of people didn't believe the call of God that was upon your life. Why? Because they were too familiar to you. 
They knew where you came from. These people knew your hometown. These people saw your bad choices that you made. They saw those poor decisions that you made, family of God. And they could not understand how God would choose somebody like you. Because God takes the foolish things of the world and confound the wise. And this is what God has done. All these people who thought they were so educated over you, family of God. All these people who had all these degrees and you didn't have one. All these people had had these licenses, papers to preach the gospel and you didn't have one and they refused to give you one. Glory be to God. God said, I license you. God licensed you, family of God. God called you. God chose you. You hear me? And you be a bold soldier for God. If God call you, you walk accordingly. You do the will of God that sent you. You are going to make it. I don't care who told you you're not going to make it. You are going to make it. I don't care who told you you are worthless. You are not worthless. You have so much treasure. You have so much earth and treasure down in the inside of your vessel, family of God. You're getting ready to shot skyrocket. You're getting ready to soar and your enemy is going to sink. But before they go all the way up under, they're going to watch you soar. Lady Tiffany Cleveland, God bless you. God bless you too, woman of God. Lady Tiffany, you are a powerful intercessor. You are a powerful woman of prayer. You are, you keep interceding and you keep laboring before the Lord. You know, we have a lot of intercessors on our channel. We have a lot of people who pray fervently before the Lord on this live. You all are a lot of seers on this live. You have the fivefold ministry gift on this live. We have a lot of apostles and prophets and pastors, evangelists and teachers. Glory to God on this channel. Oh, I hear you, Lord. We have the fivefold ministry gifts on this channel. Yes, God gave those gifts. Welcome, Sydney, Australia. Oh, glory to God. God is bringing Sydney, Australia to us, family of God. Let's thank God for that. Cleveland, thank you for your 199. What is that, Shamila? If I pronounced that correctly, forgive me if I did not. I love you. Praying for a seed to sow. Let me tell you something. You just sowed a seed. Whatever you have, if God told you to sow it, just sow it. You know, I had to learn that, family of God, because sometimes, you know, the world uh, make you feel bad about the little that you do have, and you feel like you got to have that big old thousand dollar seed to plant in somebody's ministry whenever you have a $50 seed, a $2 seed, whatever you have, wherever you are, you sow where you are. And I want you to learn to sow where you want to go. You sow where you are, if God told you to plant it. And you sow where you want to go. Rashida Terry, God bless you for your $20 seed. I come into agreement with you. But whatever you believe in God for, in the name of the Lord, health, wealth, peace, happiness, restoration, whatever it is, we come into agreement because you're not here by accident. You are not on this live by accident, family of God. And we're going to pray for our enemies because God called us to pray for our enemies. Get our likes up, family of God. Thank you. We have 182 likes on our channel. We have 327 people on. Let's get our people on all over the world. Supernatural restoration is your portion. It is. You got to know what your portion is. You have to know what your birthright is, family of God. God said you are the head and not the tail. God said you are above and you are never again beneath. You are a lender. You will never a day be a borrower in your life. You are a distribution center for the kingdom of God. Shalom from Switzerland. Glory be to God. Welcome in Switzerland, family of God. But we thank God that this channel has come a long way with God. When God puts his stamp of approval on something, it cannot fail. Thank God. So keep us in prayer, family of God, because we are here to give God glory. We are here to let you know that God loves you, family of God. He loves you. You're going to skyrocket. And you're going to go back into the enemy's camp and you're going to take everything the devil stole from you. I don't care what the devil stole from you. Go back in there and get it. Don't ask. I want you to snatch it back. I want you to take your stuff back. Take everything back. He gave you power to do it. Go ahead and do it. 180, 198 likes. Let's keep getting our likes up, family of God. We are live. And it's not so often that God would allow me to come online. Look how long it's been. 
Look at God long God had me to wait before I went live. I've been wanting to go live with you all for so long. But if God don't tell me to move, I just don't do it, family of God, because we're not here just to do things on our channel. We are here for you. 314 people in, 199 lives, Joel 225, amen. It's my portion. That's right, you claim your portion. Take it back. What is that, Jametta Inspiration? God bless you. You're the, I'm the auntie, auntie you never had. I received that divine departure. I'm the auntie you never had. It's a pleasure for me to be there for you. Thank God that you see the God in my life because I love you. I am here for you, family. God deliver me. God has brought my life from a long way. I've been through a lot. I've been through the lies. I've been through the embarrassment. I've been through the shame. I've been through the humiliation. I've been through a lot of things with a lot of people, family God, even in biological families, even in ministries. But it doesn't matter because all these things are working together for my good because I am called according to God's purpose. All things are going to work together for your good. Everything, the bad, is going to work together for your good. It doesn't matter, family. Glory be to God. Janetta Inspiration, God bless you too. DJ, God bless you. Carrie, Doug, Judah. Mary Smith, God bless you. Magnetic favor, God bless all of you so much. Fern Park, Judah, Mary Smith, the Boyd fam. God bless you, Boyd fam. Amen. Glory be to God. You're going to escalate and you're going to elevate. Jesse C., thank you for your $4.99. God bless you. God bless you, family of God. You're getting ready to go places that you've never gone before. You're getting ready to do things that you've never done before in your life. You hear me, family of God? You are getting ready. God is going to give you the strength because he said the joy of the Lord is your strength. That's right, Anthony. No matter the storm, keep pushing forward. The storm is in your life to show you how strong that you are. That disruption, that interruption, that storm, that trial, that opposition, that problem, that pain, that trauma. All of these, these things are there to show you how strong you are. It's not there to tell you how weak you are. No, family of God. Happy birthday, Zach's world. Glory to God. Your birthday was November 26. Mine was too. God bless you. 313, time to move forward. It is. It is time to move forward. It is time to forget the things that are behind you and move toward the things that are before you. You cannot enter into this new season with the past before you. You can't do it. Past people not coming with you. They're not. Any past person that God moved out of your life and you're trying to hold on to these people for dear life, they're not going to be able to come with you. So you need to get rid of these people, family of God. The spiritual warfare is going to be upped in your life because you have something big to do in this world. You have an amazing kingdom assignment. You got to know your kingdom assignment in the earth realm. You have to know who you are. You have to know whose you are. You got to know who you belong to. You got to know why you're here and you got to know your purpose in life. You got to know the destiny. It's calling you. Destiny is warning you. Did you know God said the goodness and callings of God are without repentance? God is going to treat you so good, family of God. You know, God is going to woo you in by doing good for you. God is going to woo some of your back in because, family of God, people have done you so wrong. People have done so much injustice to you and for you. But their ships will sink and yours will sail. Amen, Janetta. That's right. Your kingdom assignment. That's right. Your kingdom assignment. You got kingdom people to meet. Those of you who have been praying for kingdom spouses, God is going to give you that person. He's going to give it to you. And every time you get close to getting that kingdom person to those of you who are praying for that kingdom person, thank you, LaShawn, for saying happy birthday. Thank you so much. Every time you get close to any blessing that God has for you, the enemy is going to come because it doesn't want you to have it. So make sure you don't speak anything negative by default, family of God. Speak nothing by default because whenever you open your mouth and speak, you give life to it because death and life are in the power of your tongue. You're going to skyrocket. You're going to soar. That's right. Don't be like Lot's wife, mobile moms. Glory be to God. And turn back. You know, people turn back because they think they're missing out on something in the world. See, this is why people turn their back on you too, family. God, even relationally, family, they turn their back on you. Welcome in Mississippi because they thought they were missing out on something. People thought they were missing out on something. That's why they drop you like a hot cake. 
This is why a lot of people ghosted you because they thought they were missing out on something in the world. Welcome in, Minnesota. People walked out of your life family of God because they thought they could do better than you. Whatever you do, don't argue when a person walks away out of your life. Let them walk. We have 231 likes. Let's get our likes up, family of God. We have 334 people in our life. Hi from Texas. Hi, Carlos. Hi, Donald. God bless you. Mike, welcome in. Nefertiri, welcome in. California, welcome in, family of God. God bless all of you. Keep your mind focused. Keep your mind focused. We're going to pray for your health. We're going to pray for your digestive system, your nervous system, your gallbladder. Glory be to God. You know, God is a, God is a healer. God is Jehovah Rapha. He's a God that heals you. Hello from Connecticut. Welcome in from all over the world, family of God. Welcome in. You almost died, but you didn't die. You almost, you see that word? You almost, but you didn't. You're going to live and you're not going to die. You're going to declare the word of the living God. The revenge that people sought, it did not give them that emotional feeling that they thought they were going to get. The revenge that people sought after for you, it did not give them the outcome that they thought it would. Seeking revenge to slander your name, to destroy your name, to destroy your reputation, to destroy your ministry family, to cause some of you to lose your jobs or be in a position to lose your job, it did not give these people the outcome that they thought that they wanted. They have an outcome, but it's just not the outcome that they thought it was going to be. God is going to silence the mouths of people. God is going to do it, not you. God is going to silence family of God. Philadelphia, welcome in. Welcome in, everybody. Glory be to God. Let them sit back and laugh. Because God is sitting on his throne laughing at all of them. And you know why God is sitting in the heavens and laughing at your adversary? Because God knows the end that your enemies are going to have. These people are going to regret the day they opened their mouth and spoke an evil word against you. These people are going to regret the day that they did anything evil toward you with their hands. Any spiritual witchcraft that these people have done. Any consulting warlocks and witches, welcome in Cleveland. These people are going to regret the day they've done this. Why? Because they are going to eat the fruit of that. They will be sick, not you, family of God, and their children. God said he will curse the, the second, third, and the fourth generation. Your lineage will be blessed. Your lineage, family of God, will exceed your lineage. We praying for your enemies in the workplace. You need your enemies. You need them. Women support ministry. God is going to hide you in the midst of your enemies on your job because God is going to allow your enemies live to see your success. See, don't pray your enemies away. You pray for the heart of your enemies. Never pray. A evil prayer against your enemies. Your enemies are going to get what they deserve anyway because God already told you anyway, family of God. God already told you the end of your adversary. So we just pray for the heart of the enemy because it's the heart and people that is not good. God is going to repay people for everything that they've done against you. Your promotion is due. Your promotion is overdue. And you are in line for your permission, for your promotion. Don't wish evil. I don't want them to get what they deserve. We don't deserve one blessing from God. None of us, family. We don't. So we can't pray and desire evil against anybody. We can't do that. That's not the heart of God. So pray for people and leave these people in the hand of God. Welcome from Australia. Thank you so much for your positive word of inspiration. We thank you so much. Just keep us in prayer. Here. Thank you for your birthday wishes and thank you for all of your gifts that you've sent through cash apps and super things you've sent through the mail. Thank every single one of you. Testify. 
Testify to the goodness of Lord. Testify to the goodness of, Lord, of the Lord. Welcome in Detroit. Thank God that you all are a blessing. You say, I'm a blessing to you. You all are such a blessing to me because it's an honor for me to be able to come back into your home and to give you a word of encouragement, family of God, to let you know that things in life sometimes will get worse before they get better. That's right. Forgive them for they know not what they do. They don't. People don't know what they're doing, family of God. Look at Judas. Look at Judas. He didn't know it was going to require Christ's life. He didn't know that. And this is why a lot of your enemies are feeling the same way as Judas. They're in so much regret. These people in so much, they're having so much remorse because they saw all the backlash, the lie that they told that you're getting. You got a lot of negative backlash because a lot of people were envious of you. A lot of people were jealous of your life. A lot of people hate the fact that people love you. A lot of people hate the fact that people respect you. A lot of people don't like the fact that you are honored and that you are highly sought after. You are going to be so highly sought after, family of God. You know, some of you have been sowing $1,000 seeds. Some of you have been sowing positive cards that you're sending, gifts. You're doing a lot of things you serve. And you know, that's the greatest gift that we can do. That is serve humanity. We did not come for people to serve us. We came to be served. So pray for the people that sought revenge for you, family of God. We thank God for the homes that God is getting ready to give you. We thank God for the transportation that people that you are getting ready to receive. We thank God for promotions that you're getting ready to receive. We thank God for a closer walk with God that you are going to experience. We thank God for giving you a fresh wind. We thank God for pouring his spirit upon all flesh because your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. We thank God that there's going to be an outpouring of the Holy Spirit that's going to hit your house. There's going to be a blessing that's going to hit your house. Some of you are going to feel the Holy Spirit reverberate in your home. Whenever you're sleeping at night, you're going to be walking in your home, up and down your hall, and you're going to feel the power of the Holy Spirit reverberate, and you're going to wonder what that is. Some of you are going to be awakened out of your sleep. You're going to feel a wind Wind. That's going to be the Holy Spirit. So when you feel that fresh wind, don't fight it because God is doing a refilling, family of God. God is refilling you for the task ahead. The task ahead and the journey ahead is going to be a tough one. So God has to make sure that you have what you need on the inside of you to go forth in this battle and to fight. You are, uh, you all are, are, are soldiers. You are soldiers. You are strong people. And don't say you're, you're weak. God said, let the weak say that I am strong. You're strong people. There's nothing the enemy can do to you. Nothing. The only thing the enemy can do to you is bring negativity to your mind. He can bring you suggestions and tell you, did God really say? This is why you must know the word of God for yourself, family. I pray that God will heal you everywhere you heard. I pray today that everywhere you are struggling, that there will be no struggle no more. God is going to give you a blessing with your name on it. God is going to open doors for you that people shut in your face. People shut some doors in your face because they were so intimidated by the anointing of God that's on your life. Thank you so much. 199 chosen. God bless you. They were so intimidated by the call on your life. Some of you are, are gifted in song. You are writers, you're poets, you're gifted, you're speakers, family of God, you're artists. And so many people are so intimidated by you. But this has anchored your life. It is. Whenever you kept your mouth shut, you cause an anchor to happen in your life. And your enemies who sought revenge after you, family of God, it caused every ship that they had to sink. These people are on sinking sand. These people are going through. Uh, a turmoil. Welcome in, Macon, Georgia. I think that was Macon, Georgia. Hi, Nisha. God bless you. Divine departure. Sunset shining. Straight, sh straight sunshine. God bless you. DJ DB Mary Smith. That's right. Pray for your enemies. Come to know Christ. That's right. They are his project. It is. Bronx boy, I am down. No job. And been trying. You do everything that you can do. And God is going to do the rest. You know, God allow us to be in a position where we have no help. 
It feels like God has snatched the rug up from up under you, doesn't it? It feels like you don't have a way out, doesn't it? It feels like the way is not going to be made, doesn't it? Now God has you in that vulnerable place where you can depend on nobody but him. Because sometimes, family, we become codependent on people. And God said, I'm a jealous God. He said, we should have no other gods before him. God has to be your one and only. God has to be your priority, family of God. He's going to make a way because he's a way maker. He is. That's right. No doubt. Teresa Davis, God bless you. God bless all of you. Straight sunshine. God bless you. Portia, I think that is. V Bonds. God bless all of you. Janetta's inspiration. God bless you so much. We love you here too. Jacquette, thank you for your 99 cents. God bless you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Anthony Stewart. Your back might be against the wall, but you, you're leaning on God. You hear me? If you feel like your back is against the wall, you are leaning on God. And God is going to be your present help in a time of trouble. God will not cause your feet to slip. You will not slip. You will not fall. Glory be to God. You hear me, family of God? Be careful with scammers on our channel. I'm not reaching out to anybody. You see these people in the description box of our videos. You may see them on our live with cryptocurrency, family of God. Just delete the reply and continue to report these people. That's all you do. Thank you for your $4.99, Jacquette. I think it's Annabelle Jacque. Forgive me if I mispronounce your name. Thank you so much for your 4 dollars That's right, Nisha. You will not fail. You will not fail. God will not allow you to fail. The only way that we can fail is when we stop trying. Don't stop trying. We have 276 likes. We have 327 people in our live. We're 41 minutes in. And we're going to be on God's will in a few more minutes, family of God to put your prayer requests in, give your praise re reports as well while you're on our live. I want you to give another person a reason of hope if you want to put your seed in the ground. If God leads you to do that, you go ahead and do that. Glory be to God. You can do that by stickers. You can do that by your cash app. You can purchase the book or you can just send a positive word of prayer my way. I want you always to always be led to do what God wants you to do, family of God. Blessings to you too, woman of God. What's that, Katia? God bless you. Thank God you caught the lie. Thank God I'm glad to be here. I'm glad to be here. So many of you wanted to see me, but thank God that he gave me the grace to come on. I pray today for your whole household to be healed. I pray in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ today that everywhere you hurt, you will be healed. I pray today in the name of the Lord that God will deliver you. He will make you whole. I thank God that he will make you complete. I thank God that everything that that devil has taken from you, the canker worm, the palmer worm, the locust, everything that that devourer has eaten, everything that the seed eater has eaten, I thank God today that God is going to recompense you. God is going to pay you for what you lost. I thank God for those hidden things. God is going to reveal them. All of those secret things, God is going to bring these people to pass in the name of the Lord, family of God. Every single thing. Jesus is God. You're asking for prayer for the Lord's strength and for him to completely set me free from all rich, witchcraft and evil powers and curses. God has deemed you blessed in the name of the Lord. So you are already free. Glory be to God. You are already free. Whoever you are, Jesus is God. I declare today that you are already free. You're not trying to be free. You are already free because the word of God. Thank you, V Bond. V Bonds for your 199. God said, whom the son has set free is free indeed. You are already free. You are free of witchcraft, of witchcraft of any kind. You are free, people of God, from any spell, any jinx any hurt, hex, anytime you keep your mind meditating on things that are not good, you're going to, you're going to amplify that. You, you, you're going to make that thing bigger. Thank you for your $5, Anthony Stewart. Glory be to God. Shamila, God bless you. You're welcome, Alicia. God bless you in the name of the Lord. Okay, Jesus is God. Amen. I thank God you received that. You're already free. You're already free. The devil can by no means harm you and no evil shall come now. Your dwelling place, Brisbane, Australia. Hi, 
Jane Russell, God bless you. Glad that you can be here. Prayer request is missile on my court case. We thank God that the will of God will be done in your court case. Carlos, in the name of the Lord, we thank God because Jesus is your high priest and he is your judge. Did you know that? Good God is that righteous judge. Jesus is that righteous judge. He told us to always pray and not to faint. God has said, pray and don't ever give up, family of God. Keep praying and don't ever give up. God is going to turn that court case in your favor. By faith, I believe and receive. Jacquet 399, thank you so much for your donation. Those of you who are having court cases, I want to pray for all of your court case, the cases, whether you're in bankruptcy court, whether you're in court for child support, where you're in marriage and divorce court, whether you are in a civil case court, maybe you are in criminal court. It doesn't matter what court case you have. Jesus is your judge. And God is going to turn the heart of these people in your favor. Favor, Earl Jones, it's a blessing to have you here. Thank God that you can see the live. Amen. God is going to turn all these things for your good. You know, amen. Well, well glory be to God. Katia, we come in agreement with your son in the name of the Lord, that God blood over that court case. We seal that court case in the name of the Lord in January for your son. We thank God that the favor of God is going to turn the king heart in your son's favor. And whenever God turn these things around for you and everybody else who's, thank you for your 1111. Thank you for your birthday gift. Thank you so much. Miss B, thank you. Thank you that you love the line. Thank you for the happy birthday, 1111. God bless you. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. God is going to turn the heart of the king in your favor because he said he would. God said, I am going to turn the heart of the king in your favor. The, the heart of the king is in God's hand. Did you all know that? This is why you prayed that God would grant you favor. You pray and ask God to give you favor. You pray and ask God to touch the heart of the people that you are going before. You tell God to be the mediator in your case. Thank you for your $20, Carlos Ariaga. Thank you so much. Thank you for your, your wishes for birthday. I am praying for you and your children, Mira Smith. You are the person that your children will see. The God in you, your children see. You speak life over your children right now, Mira Smith. And you command your angels to send that word to your children if they're not in your household. Because the word of God is a healer. The word of God, you send that word to your children in the name of the Lord, family of God. You can do anything that God called you to do. Whatever God called you, you to do. Thank you for your $20 gift. I'm going to pray for your son. You can come home. My address is P.O. Box 690271, Orlando, Florida, 32869. And if you're making anything payable to a donation, only put Nikki McCray on that. Whether it's a cashier's check, whatever it is, don't put any other name on it because we have a few that we have to send back to you because the names were spelled incorrectly. And we thank you for your consideration. So we're going to send it back to you. But if God wants you to send it back, you send it back. But the address is P.O. Box 690271, Orlando, Florida, 32869. You make it payable to Nikki McCray, N-I-K-K-I-M-C-C-R-A-Y. When the live ends, we're going to send all the information um, in the description box. But I just want to right now just pay attention to you. I want to pour into you. You pour so much into my life through prayer and through purchasing the book and your acts of kindness and your positive well wishes. And I just want to take the opportunity for God to allow me to pour into you. You know, so many of you pour into so many people and you need that back. A lot of you are running on empty. A lot of you are empty. A lot of you are running on red. You've depleted you. Now God is going to refill you. God is going to refill your family of God. God is going to give you an outpouring of his spirit. God is going to give you an increase of the anointing of God on your life so that you can continue to do what you're called to do. 301 people that is liking the video. We have 312 people on our live. We want to get so many more people on our live. 
because so many of you are viewing all over the world. I want you to keep liking the videos. I want you to keep sharing the videos, family of God, because it helps the algorithm of our channel. Here we are going to give you the word of God. We're going to give you kingdom principles. We're going to encourage you on our channel. We're going to inspire you. We're going to motivate you right here on our channel. I love you all too so much. Nisha, we love you too. Queen, we love you too, Queen. Mary Smith, the heart of God that you have is enough. The heart of God that you have is enough. The things that you go through in life, the things that you endure in life, don't allow it to get on the inside of you and to corrupt and to hinder the things that God has for you, for your life. We're 50 minutes in our live. We're getting ready to close our live in a few minutes. We have 310 people, excuse me, 311 people on, and we have 310 people liking our videos. Thank y'all so much. We appreciate that here. Sile, I love you all too. Mary Smith, the best that you do is good enough. I love you too. The best that you do is good enough. Divine departure. God bless you. V-Bonds, thank you for the birthday wishes. The Boyd family, thank you so much. Thank you for purchasing that book. Thank you for loving it. Thank you for your positive review on that book. Thank you so much for sharing it. Thank you, Anthony, Anthony Stewart. God bless all of you. Your enemy's revenge that they sought for you did not give them the outcome that they thought it would get but it elevated your life and it declined their life. Your enemy's lives will continue to decline until they repent. And repentance does not mean an apology. Some people will give you an apology, but that does not mean repentance is taking place in the lives of these people because apology is when I tell you that I am sorry. But if you keep hurting me over and over, if I keep hurting you over and over, that means there is no fruit of true repentance in your life. Whenever we truly repent, that means we do a whole turnaround for our life, family of God, and we're going to have the fruit to back it up. A lot of people will be a little bit salty with your family of God because you are getting ready to skyrocket, because you're getting ready to escalate, because you're getting ready to elevate, because you're on those stairs going up. You're not going down you're not on an escalator going down. No, you're on an elevator going up. You're on an escalator going up. You're on stairs going up step by step and bit by bit. You are. You got to know, family of God, that God has your enemies. Don't focus on your enemies because the enemies that you see today, you shall see no more. Stop worrying about your enemies. Stop worrying about the hate that you get. Stop worrying about the nasty looks that people give you. Stop worrying about how people leave you out. Stop worrying about the rejection that you face. Stop worrying about the opposition that you are encountering because as God's remnant, because you are anointed, because you are called, because you are gifted, because you are chosen, this is exactly what you are going to face. But you are not going through this alone. You may be in your home by yourself right now. Welcome in Cleveland. Lady Tiffany, God bless you. You may be in a physical place alone, but you're not alone. Because God said he will never leave you. He will never forsake you. We walk away from God, but God will never walk away from us unless there is sin in our life and God is going to remove himself because he said, I don't dwell in any unclean place, family of God. The enemies the day that you see, you shall see these people no more. You are going to gain the enemy's spoils. Just like the children of Israel bankrupt the economy of Egypt in 24 hours, God is going to cause you to bankrupt the enemy's economy in 24 hours. I declare a 24-hour miracle for you. I declare a three-day, a five-day, a seven-day miracle, a 21-day miracle, a 30-day turnaround miracle for you. I declare right now, this second, this minute, this hour, as this live is going forward, I thank God. Welcome in Tampa, Florida, Diamond Royal Ministries. Welcome in and blessings to you from here in the city. Beautiful. God bless all of you. It doesn't matter, Rashida, about your jealous demon possessed supervisor god put that demon possessed supervisor right there on your on your job you know why because you are a light you are a light and these people hate your light 
but don't shut down your light. Don't hide your light. Don't hide your gifts. Don't hide your creativity because God put you in that environment and you still going to prosper. You can make your bed in hell and you're still going to prosper. It doesn't matter where you go. You're still going to prosper, family of God. You hear me? You can have two dimes and put them together and you can sow it in the ministry of God. And God is going to re re require you to do some things like that sometimes. But whatever you have, you give that to God, whatever it is. You give yourself to God. This is not all about finances. You know, God wants us to, to sow financial. We're supposed to, if you are needing financial blessings, whatever you need, you sow that, whatever it is. If you need money, you sow it and you pray over it before you sow it. You know the leading of the Holy Spirit. You know the tugging of the Holy Spirit and you obey God. No matter what you do financially, family, whatever God tells you to do, you do it. It's not too big and it's not too small. You think about what you'll believe in God for. That's right, a 24-hour miracle. You declare it. Thank you, Nefertiri, for your $5 offering. God bless all of you. Your prayers are seed. You are seed. I tell you all that all the time. You are a seed walking. No matter where you are planted, you are going to produce. Rashida Terry, thank you for your $50 seed. I hear the year of Jubilee for you. Oh, my goodness. Rashida Terry, glory be to God. The year of Jubilee for your $50 seed. I heard the year of Jubilee. Oh, my goodness. All of your debts will be canceled. All your needs going to be met. And you're going to have plenty more to put in store. Yes, family of God. And let me tell you all something. I had to learn this on my journey years and years and years ago. Never be intimidated by the seed somebody else sow. If you can sow a bigger seed, you sow it. If you can sow a smaller seed, you sow it. That is flesh to make you feel bad about the seed you sow. You know what you can do. So you always do what you can do, family of God. And it is good enough. Be bonds. You are a seed walking. Jacqueline Wood, glory be to God. Carrie Williams, welcome in. Magnetic favor. Thank God for all of you. We love you here, family. I thank God for you. 333 likes. Glory be to God. The Trinity. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. That's right. Dead cancellation, V Bonds. You claim that. And whenever you are getting breakthroughs, I want you to understand that it's going to require something from us. Whenever we pray for something, like if you're praying and you believe in God to restore you financially, God wants you to be a good steward of the finances that he's getting ready to give you. The wealth that God is getting ready to give you, you be a good steward over the wealth that God gave you. God wants you not to do the things that you used to do before with your money that caused you to be in a bad place. So when he gives you this wealth, you do better this time. You make better decisions and you put your money in good soil. You put your money in good ground where you're going get, to get a harvest from it. I mean, a good harvest relationally. Don't make the same decisions that you used to make in the past, family of God. No, because you're going to get the same outcome. If you do the same thing that you've already done, you're going to get the same thing. Ephesians 3.20, that's one of my favorite scriptures in the word of God. God is able to do exceedingly, abundantly above all we can ever ask or think according to the power that worked down on the inside of you. I want you to know just because you're called by God, just because you love God, just because God blesses us, it does not mean that we are entitled not to suffer. No, we are going to suffer because through our suffering, we are going to learn how to obey God. Through suffering, Jesus learned to obey his father, family of God, and it's going to draw you closer. It's going to draw you closer to God. You're so welcome, Shamila, for, your, for the encouraging word that God allows me to get. But thank God for you never missing a video. That means you're called here. And whenever somebody is called to your life, they're going to stick and stay. You know what it feels like for people to come in your life and disappear. But God's going to give you people that stick and stay family of God. That's right. Keep your armor on. Precious style. Rich. Rich. God bless you. Featherly Holmes. God bless you. Be bonds through suffering. That's right. Through suffering. We learn our obedience, Angela, Angela Key. I want you not to look at what you think you did, Angela Key. I want you to look at what good things that God is going to do through your children. I want you to look at what good things that God is going to do through you, Angela Key. God is going to work all these things out for your good. I always know that. 
All things will work together for your good. The bad is going to work together for your good. All things will work together for your good. Everything. Doesn't matter. You cry now, but you're going to rejoice later. Just like your enemies laughed at you then, they'll cry now. But here on our channel, we don't focus on our enemy. We're going to expose the enemy. We're going to expose the enemy. But we, we're not going to focus on our enemy. We're going to focus on what God said we have a right to have. Leave everybody behind. That God called an exodus in your life, leave these people behind. You want to get the new new in your life? You got to leave everybody behind. You can't drag these people with you. Some of these people were holding you back and holding you down and you could not prosper. A lot of you were going through so many things because you were suffering with people who did not have your best interest at heart. And God just was not going to give you the blessings and the breakthroughs that you've been asking him for until you did something that was hard. Sometimes in life, we got to do what's hard. We got to do what is difficult. And that is to let people go. When sometimes when there is a positive emotional connection to people, it's hard to let go, family of God. It's hard to let go. But God is going to help you. Alicia, God bless you. Donald, God bless you. What is that? Fern Park. I can hardly see that. God bless you. Jacqueline Woods, God bless you. You are alive and well, thank God. You're not going to be just alive and well, but you're going to continue to thrive, Jacqueline Wood. You're going to thrive in every area of your life. Every single area of your life, you are going to thrive. You're not just going to exist. You know, God came that you should have life and that we will have it in abundance. This is why God came. God didn't come so you could just do the same mundane things in life every single day. He did not come for that. He did not. You're getting ready to go through levels that you've never seen. God allowed them to leave you high and dry, firm part. You're going through some suffering. You're going through some pain, but God's going to heal you. The tougher the betrayal, the bigger your blessing. You hang in there with God because God is going to see you through. God is going to mend your brokenness. God is going to heal, heal you and deliver you emotionally. He's going to put your pieces that were broken. He's going to put you back together. That's right. Sowing a seed is optional. People don't feel bad if you don't have it. God will still bless you. You are absolutely right. We say it all the time because you are a seed walking. You are a seed. Never let anybody make you feel bad if you don't have something to sow. Even in ministries, family, if you are in churches and you, you're going to these ministries and people make you feel bad about sowing a particular seed, that's not of God. God said he loves a cheerful giver. He didn't put a number on that. So whatever you have to give, anytime God tells you to do something financially, if he does, he said he loves a giver. So give according to how you've been blessed. That's how you give. You give according to how you are going to be blessed. Will God at sometimes tell you to make a sacrifice? Yes, he will. But make sure that it's God speaking to you and not other people and not your flesh, people of God. In the name of the Lord, we love all of you. Remember that you are here to serve. We're not here to be served. You're going to escalate. You are. I love you so much. That's right, magnetic favor. These are labor pains. And some of you have been pregnant with destiny for a long time. Now it is time to deliver. Yes, I do have a cash app, Katil. It is dollar sign prophetess Nikki G3. Dollar sign prophetess Nikki G3. Dollar sign N I K K I G3. Dollar sign prophetess Nikki G3. That cash app information is in the description box of our videos. And when this live ends in a few minutes, um, we're going to add that there. We are moving ahead. You keep walking forward, don't go back. Don't go back. You're being positioned for something better. God has called you to something greater. He's called you to do something bigger in your life. So don't go back. Don't let the devil talk you into going back. You want to deliver. And it's time for you to deliver. Some of you have been pregnant with destiny for a very long time. So it is time for you to deliver, family of God. Your enemies have realized that the revenge that they sought for you, it did not give them. The outcome that they thought that it would has caused their ships to sink and it has caused your life to be anchored 
and to be elevated, family of God. That's right. Turn the page of your life and write another chapter in the name of the Lord. It's already done. Why don't y'all type that before I go? It is already done. It's already done. Not trying to get done. You're not wondering if it's going to be done. It is already done. You got to claim that by faith. You believe and you receive that it is already done. Thank all of you once more before I go for all of your support on our channel. Thank every single one of you for what you do daily. Thank all of you for supporting the book, Becoming a Master of Divine Consciousness. Thank you for just being a part of my life here, family. Thank all of you. Don't forget to like the video, share, and subscribe. Continue to hit that like button because it helps the algorithm of our channel. We have 288 people in our live chat. Next time, we pray that God would give us more people in our live because this is why we're here. We have 348 likes on our channel. So we pray next time, God's will, that we can have more people who need to hear a word of encouragement. We're here to inspire you. We're here to motivate you. And we want you to learn how to love yourself like God loves you. Because whenever you love you authentically, like God does, you are not going to allow anything or anybody else in your life that does not give you the same. God is going to give you people that's going to give you equal reciprocity, family of God, okay? That cash out information will be in the description box of this video, and it is in the previous video if the Holy Spirit is leading you to give a seed. When you come out of the live, you can go back to the previous video before this one, or you can wait until we continue to put the description in the video. So keep your prayer requests coming. I want your prayer requests. I want your praise reports, family of God. And when you're sending things in the mail, send things in the mail that are for God's glory. Because anything else that, that you're saying that is not appropriate, we don't want that in our mail. We're here for God's glory. We're going to send that back to you, family of God. Precious, it's already done. Rich, God bless you. That's right. We're here to comfort one another. We are helpers one to another. We don't judge anybody. We don't talk about anybody. We don't put anybody down. We are here to be a light. You know, this is how the world would know that we belong to God by the love that you and I have for one another, family. That's right. The love that we have for one another. People are going to know that we belong to God. Misha is already done in Jesus' name. My fight is not with flesh and blood. It is not. It's with principalities and wickedness and powers in high places. The true enemy is the enemy inner me. I-N-N-E-R me. The enemy is inner me. That true enemy is on the inside of us. We battle and we war on the inside. This is why you have to keep that helmet of salvation on. This is why you have to keep your mind meditated on God's word, what he says. And this is why we have to cast down every vain imagination and everything that exalted, it exalts itself against the knowledge of Christ. That means everything that you know that is true about God, you have to cast that down if it contradicts the knowledge and the truth that you know about God, God said, cast that down. You know, we are responsible for the thoughts that we allow to stay in our head, not the thoughts that we allow to go. Those negative thoughts, let them go. Don't allow these negative thoughts to stay in your mind because if they stay in your mind, you're going to plant them in the soil of your heart because the soil is your heart. So how is the soil? Make sure your soil is on fertile ground, family of God. God bless all of you. And I love you too. I want to acknowledge a few more of you before I go off the live. Team Nikki G, to those of my people who are here. Team Nikki G, thank all of you. Thank all of you, Jocelyn. You all are great. Thank God that we can be a help for you. Jamila, praying for those who need prayer. That's right. Even our enemies, we pray for them. Amen. Mira Smith, Jolie, is that Jolene? Zeba, precious, God bless you. Mira Smith, keep speaking life. DB, thank you for the blessed birthday wish. Thank you so much. 111, is that an S? I think it is. Nisha Smart, God bless you. May God continue to bless you as well in all areas of your life. You all are my family here, and I'm so grateful for you. I am. I'm so grateful. 
for you, McBee. I am praying for you and I am praying for your whole household. Does anybody have a prayer request before I go off my live? If you have a prayer request that you want me to touch and agree for a moment, I want you to let me know right now because I'm getting ready to end the live in a, in a couple of minutes. You're welcome. Thank you, Jolene. God bless you. I'm here for you all. I'm here for you. You won't always be in this place. You won't always have a season where you don't know what to do. You won't always have a season that you go through with him, your God. I pray that you will have a better night. I pray you will have peace. I pray that you will have sleep. I pray for your financial breakthrough in the name of the Lord. We pray for all people all over the world. And remember in our prayer, we pray for the nation of Israel. We pray for the peace. I thank God for your housing. We pray for your housing. Those of you who are moving who need a place to live, we pray in the name of the Lord. I thank God for your prayer for me in the name of the Lord. We're praying for teens in the youth all over the world. Until next time, family. Excuse the call. God bless you. Gotta go because we have some busy stones that are coming in. I guess it's right on time scheduled for the live. So we'll talk later. If it be God's will, prayer request for the kingdom, kingdom spouse for healing, for deliverance. Thank all of you. Getting ready to go, family. I love y'all so much. We're in. We're concluding the live. So if you want to go ahead and click off the live, go ahead and click off the live. I love you. We'll talk later. Bye-bye. Love y'all so much. Thank you. Bye-bye.